Yeah, guys, welcome back to the BNT Potty, aka the Breath and Tamana podcast. We have made it episode 20 of season one, the final episode. Let's give a round of applause. Woo! Yeah. How are you feeling, Tamana? Yeah. I'm feeling great. Episode 20. Look, it's been, it's been what, three, four weeks um, since our last episode. We've been meaning to do it. We tried to get Nugget and Kenny and it didn't work out. Um, so we're just going to do a little short episode, uh, doing a little overview of the season and kind of the, the year that we had last year and our best moments, videos, all that kind of jazz. So uh, you ready to get stuck into it? I am ready to get stuck into it. Uh, ready to recap the year. It was, a, it was a very good year. Started eight months ago now with the season one intro that um, got a solid 200 views, So, which is pretty good um surprisingly a, a lot more views than some of the guest episodes that's uh saying something we may need some better guests but we're going to chat more about that later um we did you know season one and season two um not season episode one and episode two were just the guests then it got a bit juicy and we got kian and nugget on the potty um what were your what were your thoughts on um having kian let's start off with kian first what were your thoughts on kian Look, that episode, it was fun, but also it was a bit annoying. Uh, I think your camera died for a little bit and you turned into an emo. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Kian, always telling good stories. First guest episode, I think that I think he did pretty well for, for I me. I mean, guest yeah, episode. to be fair, he, um, we posted the clip of him revealing the Subway Secrets on our TikTok, and it's our most viewed TikTok, so I mean, appreciate you for the views. And it got a solid 149 views, so for a first... Uh, guest episode and being the third episode did pretty well then we moved on episode four we got nugget in my opinion probably one of the be better guests um purely because it's the longest episode reaching an hour um but he did talk about sport for half an hour so it did get a bit boring but what were your thoughts on nuggets nuggets appearance yeah look it's uh, to this day it's the longest video we've ever done longest episode so uh you know props to nugget for being able to talk for that long but uh yeah it's it, it was a good episode just a lot of a lot of sports talk i think how long was it the recap was 40 minutes long yeah it was, was a long it time. was pretty long yeah so nugget loves to chat his sport if that's what you're into you can go back and watch nuggets episode um i'm sure it'll be a, a good watch and it was a good watch um and that got a solid 125 views not that it matters about views for us we're just having some fun but i just thought i'd also tell you that just so you know what uh, what did well and what didn't. Um, then we moved on to episode five. It was just another cheeky lads episode. You know, we spoke a bit about Andrew Tate being banned from social media. Uh, then we moved on to episode six, just another lads only. And um, we answered a question that was pretty controversial uh, about will Beta Squad take over the Sidemen? You know, with these lads episodes, we're just, you know, just talking about random stuff, you know, UK, YouTube, music. That kind of thing, a bit of sports in the tomato sport recap. Probably everybody's favorite segment, can't lie. Everybody was enjoying it. Um, and then after that, we uh took a break from from episodes and we did the family food, our own version of the uh our own version of family uh feud. Uh we called it family food. We did Hungry Jacks versus Subway. What were your honest honest thoughts on that, Tamana? Look. As the host, it was it was pretty fun. Um, I think the video video was was pretty good. You know, the the questions are a little bit shit, but the video overall, I think, was all right. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the uh, the game show preview did better than the actual the actual video. And in views, it does show that it did do it better by a couple of views. Um, but I mean, it got people hooked. It got people wanting to watch the thing. Um, but I feel like if we do a twenty twenty three version. It'll be a lot better if we're microphoned up and things like that because we filmed it, um, you know, just close to a uh, behind a highway, so it was, you know, yeah, it wasn't very good. It was yeah, bad no, decision. yeah, it was. But I mean, we filmed on my birthday. That's you know the only time that I could really get all the lads to do it. And um, who knows? We're think we're thinking um, of doing a twenty twenty three game show. Whether it's you know Hungry Jacks versus Subway again. Or it's two new fast foods, you know. Maybe we try to get a Porto, kicking chicken, KFC, Maccas, you know. 
whatever, um, whoever we can get. But overall, um, you know, Family Food 2022 was was our first proper IRL video, and I feel like we smashed it. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, and we then did, indeed. We, had, we had a lot of irrelevant episodes after this. Yeah, there's, there's we, a lot of irrelevant stuff. Yeah, a lot of relevant stuff coming up, but also some some irrelevant but episodes, but did well, which is uh, surprising to see. But we moving on. We went to episode seven. Irrelevant. We had the man, the myth, the legend, Begsy Bates. How how do you how do you think he went? Look, mate, the, whopping the... eighty two views. I think that explains itself. Anyway, episode eight again, pretty irrelevant. You took over the Tamana Sport recap, and it did even worse with forty seven views. We went to the Simon Charity match where you were you were you were playing at a away ground. You know you were uh, out on camp. Uh, you've made it made it to three hundred and eighty one views. We've done done very well there. It was, it was a fantastic episode, uh, mainly because the Simon Charity match was fantastic. And the next like uh, four or five episodes were pretty re- irrelevant. Um, episode ten, episode eleven, and I was reacting to KSI Summer is over. That was pretty irrelevant. Um, nothing really important happened there, but then we moved on to uh, actually relevant topics, uh, and we started to, to gain some gain some traction with the the trick or treating early prank. Do you want to uh, explain what we did there, Braith? Yeah, so pretty much we went out two days early, and we basically went around to houses and trick or treated early. So we went around saying trick or treat. And to get and we uh, got people's reactions, but we also did a few funny pranks in some stores, microphoned up beforehand. So all in all, was a great video. I feel like doing the other pranks kind of added to the prank at the end. So everybody had to watch till like the end to watch the uh, trick or treating, and it was really funny to see um, some poor mom and kid trying to uh, give us some give us some fruit uh, instead of candy because we were two days early. And some people didn't answer. Some people told us to just told us that um, you know, we're too early. And um, you know, I ran off crying um in one of the clips there. But you know, said some funny things to customers. Did falling over in public prank. You know, all in all, was a funny video and it's uh definitely worth watching. With uh 327 views, one of our uh top five most viewed videos, which is really good to see. Yeah, that was good. But uh, unfortunately, after that, you know, we went through another period of irrelevant episodes. Episode 12, 13, 14, pretty irrelevant, you know, not, not nothing crazy. Um, we had Uncle Orgy on episode 12. They actually did uh, probably the best out of the, between the, the 10 and the 12. But, um, you know, we move on from that. Oh, hold on. I would yeah. just like to point out yeah. that... Begsy's episode got more views than Chains. Yes, it did. And uh, that is very sad from Uncle Orgy. I thought he'd yeah, be a little sad. bit more relevant. Um, more relevant, sorry. But uh, yeah, definitely. But controversial from me here, but honestly, Begsy's episode was pretty much a lads only episode. It was pretty much just us. Pretty much. But I feel like if we got him on now, he'd be a little bit more relevant than he was back then. Back then, he had no name for himself. He was just kind of adding on to what we said, but I feel like now he's got the Begsy Beats. He still maybe. has no name to himself. No, 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 <laughs> honestly. Up the Begsy Beats if you're watching this. But um, let's keep moving. We don't talk yeah. about Begsy. Too long. Moving on, you know, we went through the Swedish candy phase. That was all right. You know, I think that actually was quite a good video. There was a few iconic moments there. Um, but, yeah, and then Brave Santi ran over a neighborhood cat. That that was always fun. Um, and then we moved on to... Uh, Something that really gained us some traction, it was uh, the B&T Scab music video. You want to explain that, Braith? So basically, you know, last year we um, do music as a, as a subject. And for our last, last assessment of the year, we got to pick what we wanted to do. And me and Connor, cameraman Con, um, the man that films the floor, right? We do photography and our task was to film a music video or film a video of some sort. So we thought we might as well kill two birds in one stone, do a music video for photography, and then make a song for music, but then also for music, present the music video to the class. Now, um, that did really well. Um, got 581 views, almost 600 views. Got a fair few likes and stuff like that. So many people commented. We had some comments saying, I thought you were the chats um, when I saw Connor's mullet. 
and you know some really nice comments people loving the song um jack slave and even liking the song so it's really good to see that gaining some traction um we had deep in tom watch when we presented the uh assessment in class and it was just really fun to film we had a film camera from our uh, school and we just basically went around school and was filming for a period and tomato whipped it up edited it up and um yeah it turned out really well yep yep like normal um seems to be a, a, a you know our uh, alternate videos not the podcast episodes doing super well but you know um is what it is now c- carrying on with cameraman cons episode um and then we had the bnt christmas special that was that was a fun one uh uh, then after that, we moved into the Queensland vlog. That was probably our vi- bi- uh, biggest video of uh, of this season, this year, whatever. 100%. Um, you know, lots of fun. Everyone had fun with that one. Uh, and yeah, it was it was enjoyable. Everyone loved the video. There was uh, a lot of iconic moments in that one, like you know, Nugget meeting Mbappe, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you go watch that video because that was absolutely banging. Whopping 237 views. It could have done better, but it also could have done worse. So not bad about that. And after that, we had the uh, snitching on the camera and prank, which was also pretty good. You want to explain that one, Braitha? Yeah, I will indeed. So we got our man, Blake Hancock, right? Him, the man behind the love segment for the, for the one episode, which was the episode about the charity match. So episode nine, if you want to check the love segment out. Um, and we basically said, you know, Let's do a prank video. Um, he sent me a TikTok of the snitching on cameraman prank and said we should do it. So basically, we uh, hopped on a hopped on a bus, went out to to Bunnings, um, went out to a few other the shops, did some pranks and mucked around beforehand. Got kicked out of some stores, and you know Blake refusing to do some pranks, but I'm glad he said yes to the snitching on cameraman prank because it did really well. It was the last store we went to, the last thing we did. His acting was brilliant. It took him like, like you know, half an hour, like more than that, just walking around the store. I was like just walking around filming because cameraman Con was a bit scared to do it. And then as soon as they went up, I was, you know, off in the distance. I walk on over. He acted really well, you know. Why are you filming me? What's this for? You know, take out to the car park. Has me in a headlock. Walk out the store. You got Nathan's mum staring me in the eyes. Walk out. The guy's slowly walking behind when Tamana walks out, walks out all the way to the spotlight car park, has his phone out and was about to call the cops. Tamana, do you want to you talk about your side of that story? Because you were actually with the guy. Yeah, yeah. So me and, uh, me and who was it? It was uh, Cameraman Con, actually. Yeah, we yeah. stayed, we were behind, um, obviously, because I just kind of let it go. So we're walking out and blake's gone out with us it was me blake cameraman con and then blake's run after you with a getting you in a headlock and this this guy has followed you out and he's got his phone in his hand and he's just like do you actually know that guy Are you guys messing around and he, he was trying to figure out if it was real or not which obviously it wasn't but he didn't know that and he was like well if it's not real i'm gonna call the cops and then he went over and uh he broke it up uh, between you guys and then yeah we kind of left it from there we didn't we didn't go back inside uh but he definitely wasn't very happy definitely no wasn't he happy. wasn't anyway moving on from that we had a couple other irrelevant videos a couple episodes that did pretty well um a couple hundred views on all our episodes from there on uh we did a mini mini uh vlog with charlie and aaron at the arcade which didn't do very well but honestly it was still one of my favorite videos to make this year um and then we had episode 19 which also did all right and now we're up to here we're up to episode 20 and that's a uh, that's about it for our recap yeah exactly um we had a we had a solid year solid season heaps of videos heaps of episodes heaps of views likes plays shout out to everybody um you know everybody was everybody that's watched us on spotify tiktok youtube whatever you know platform you listen to us on we really do appreciate it we um you know going crazy on them youtube shorts getting a lot of traction and just you know only going up we're gonna switch it up season two stick into fortnightly episodes 
because as you could tell we've we've uh missed so many so many weeks especially this last episode um you know being four weeks late we're going to stick it to longer episodes half an hour plus um and having them fortnightly so you know we get them out more often and you know get them quality episodes going and you know we're also going to be having them prank videos and IRL videos as well we do have some in mind that we've been meaning to do so we'll get them done and yeah that's pretty much it you want to add anything else yeah um just uh, i'm just gonna add a few clips in here I uh, just want to talk about some of the best moments of the year. Uh, feel free to add some of yours, but my my four here. We've got we've got Australia scoring the winner against Tunisia. That was in our live stream. That was an absolute brilliant moment. We all loved that. And then we have uh, me and me and Nugget in the Swedish candy video. Not many people saw that one, so you might not have seen it. But our little uh, our little love segment. And then we had Blake dropping the uh, the hard R at uh, the BND BNT game show. And we had us screaming in the public bathroom on the Halloween special. That was that was definitely fun. What was your favorite out of those, Braith? Jeez, my favorite probably probably Blake in the game show. That was it was unexpected and it was hilarious. But close second would be the Tunisia goal. That was also was also classic as well. Um, it's a shame that YouTube took it down on YouTube Shorts because that was that was crazy. I really I really enjoyed the watch along. Watch alongs are so fun to do. You definitely should do more. Yeah, yeah, we definitely will. We definitely will. Um, and then our segments this year, just a few to 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 bring up. We have the the Tamana Sport recap, the Blake Love segment, Braith rambling about UK rap or whatever. You know, that's a, that's that's a great segment. And uh, the this or that segment, which has only come along recently. But uh, yeah, there's, there's some of our segments. Um, honestly, I've got to wrap mine. Tamana Sport recap, the best segment. Um, pretty sure one best segment of the year. I can't. I, th I think so. Is that is that true? It did. It did indeed. It did. It was a it tie. Did. It was a tie. But yeah, you did win. I did win indeed. Yeah, it was. It was a tie. Voted. Voted in. We had about twenty votes for our uh, for our BNT end of year awards ceremony, which we did. We live streamed that. Um, actually, did we didn't live stream that? Oh, we did. Yeah, no, we, we did. did but it was it was that bad that everybody clicked off. Yeah, that's right. The the audio was absolutely horrible, and then the Queensland episode dropped, which was uh, fantastic. But probably best video of the year by far. I think you will agree as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Yep. Um, and that's, other than that, that's that's about it for me. Yeah, that's yeah, that's um been our season one done. Um, you know, took longer than expected, but you know we're here having some fun, and oh, uh, you know we're only going up. So yeah, we'll catch we'll catch you guys. Um in the near future with uh, season two. Yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed by then and uh, we'll catch you in season two.